Relieved that the primary health care clinic is already in operation, Dr. Shangula says the staff structure is already approved to ensure that human resource remains available to provide necessary services to residents of Kurenkuru. The staff structure of 41 position for the clinic has been approved. The clinic will be served, staffed by two medical officers, 15 registered nurses, 10 enrolled nurses, one pharmacist and three pharmacist assistants. There will also be support staff. The completion of this project is part of the government's effort to improve the delivery of healthcare services in all the regions. Dr. Shangula further assured the community of Kurenkuru and Kavango West that an envisioned district hospital for which a groundbreaking was held with former President Hifike Punye Pohamba in 2014 is still on government's agenda. Lack of funds, he said, is why that project is halted. The Minister of Health and Social Services is in consultation with the Minister of Finance on financing model for the construction of the hospital. One of the models being considered is one of public-private partnership. We ask for patience in this regard. For us, there is no going back on this commitment. The hospital will be built. Dr. Shangula officially handed over an oxygen generating plant to the clinic's infectious diseases unit. Kavango West Governor Sirka Ausiku applauded government for completing the clinic despite delays, happy that residents will now have access to much needed services. The region is happy that the long awaited Kurenkuru Primary Health Care Clinic is finally completed and open to the public. I also want to use this opportunity to thank the community of Kurenkuru town and villages surrounding Kurenkuru for your patience during the delay of the completion of this facility.